<clears throat> Hi, ACIM family. The story behind my question. I was driving on the freeway after work today in, a hor in horrible traffic when suddenly, while changing lanes, I heard a big thud. The car started leaning sideways and the tire sensor started blinking. In other words, I got a flat tire. I tried to stay calm while trying to get out of the traffic and into the right shoulder of the freeway, telling myself that everything happens in divine perfection and it's for a reason and that I have nothing to worry about. As my understanding of a son of God, I'm always taken care of, loved and supported. So while I was on the, so while help was on the way, I was sitting there off the road in a state of acceptance, but was wondering why this is happening to me. Nothing is a coincidence in my understanding. I was planning to go to a course in miracle study after work. After this happened, I couldn't make it there on time. In addition, I realized I was stranded in an area which local people call the maze. Due to the many different freeways merging together, hmm, the maze. It made me think, was I getting stranded in the maze, a sign of something in the past few days? Oh, this very much relates to the other question. In the far last few days, I have been watching YouTube videos about quantum physics and the structure of the universe, which gave me a seemingly deeper understanding of what is oneness frequencies and reflective universe. However, I realized I wasn't doing the Course in Miracles lessons and studying the teachings as I normally do. So I'm wondering if the accident, quote unquote, that happened to me was to show me that I may be getting sidetracked off my spiritual path by tuning into other spiritual information. <clears throat> Am I overthinking it? <laughs> oh, dear. <clears throat> I think it's interesting that your mind interpreted that experience that, excuse me, that way. So perhaps, let's see what Ananda says. <clears throat> oh, we're with you again dear ones uh, we want to remind you that this is a holographic universe that means you are the center point of your universe and you are beaming out from you a frequency and from that frequency manifestations come into physical form and as you walk swim stride through your life you bump into those physical forms which give you an idea of your frequency it's quite simple a beautiful design what you aren't aware of that's hiding inside of you gets to be manifested in physical form so you can see it bump into it interact with it and decide is this a good thing or not now what we want you to know that is that there are several ways that <clears throat> situations like this manifest. One of them is a simple frequency match. A, a simple frequency match is that you are holding something in your consciousness that is the frequency of a flat tire. That, that may be, I wish I could slow down, I wish I could stop. Thoughts like this, believe it or not, can manifest into forms such as this. I wish I was going in a different direction. I don't like the path I'm on. Think about what you're saying when you have those kinds of thoughts. Resistance to the path you're on, the road you're traveling. Other manifestations that can happen are a decision to go to something, let's say there's an art gallery opening on the 17th of December and you are booked to go there. Well, in your original frequency, it could have been in the blueprint that something negative was going to happen at that event. It could be that your uh, a negative aspect of your frequency was going to manifest in an argument with a fellow patron there or that you were going to trip on the stairs and twist your ankle because that was a frequency you were holding. But in the meantime, in the weeks prior to the event, between you deciding to go and it happening, you've been doing very, very focused forgiveness work. You've been doing some work with a family member. You've been 
sending love to lots of people. You've been much kinder to yourself. You have, in fact, raised your frequency up out of that uh, uh, potential manifestation that was being used by your creative distorted mind to get you to experience your own frequency. It's no longer necessary. You've raised yourself up into a different frequency. You no longer need to go and have that quote unquote negative experience because you've preemptively shifted your consciousness out of that circle of interaction, if you will. So you can view frequencies as plane after plane after plane after plane, tiny, tiny distances apart from each other. You can also do it vertically, pieces of paper, an experience a particular life is that piece of paper. And if you keep doing what you're doing, you will go down that slice of reality. But if you do some forgiveness work, you will go down the next slice of reality, which is right next to it, imperceptibly different. But in that one, you don't twist your ankle. Everything else is the same. You wear the same clothes. You talk to the same people. But in that one, you don't twist your ankle. And then more forgiveness practice, another imperceptible shift. Instead of uh, just not twisting your ankle, you bump into an ex-lover that you find very intriguing on the way to the art gallery. A little shift, a little shift, a little shift. If you keep doing the work that is assigned to you in terms of choosing love, choosing love, choosing love, eventually you are 20 planes away, 20 slices of reality away from that place where you were five years ago or 10 years ago. And you are beginning to create a completely different world now. It's quite loving. You're not even going to that art gallery in that uh, new world. You are an artist exhibiting in that art gallery in the new perceptual arena. So this is how we would like you to look at it. In assessing the situation the way you did, and we're speaking to the question asker here, you did something very different than what most people do. You chose acceptance over resistance. You, in that moment, did shift into a different reality. You shifted into the reality of, I can have a flat tire and not be upset. I can miss a meeting, a pre-ordained pre meeting, and not be upset. That is unusual. How do most people react when they get a flat tire? Swearing, hitting the steering wheel. This shouldn't happen. I'm going to miss my meeting. The whole day is ruined. That's quite normal in your society. So we take our hats off to you for responding in that way. And so in that way, you immediately chose love. You immediately chose acceptance for what is a forgiving eye, but looking upon the world as it is and saying, it's okay, this is coming from some place already. It's in manifestation, so there's no point in screaming and yelling at it because that's not what's going to change it. What's going to change it is me looking at it differently and accepting it and saying, okay, what is this experience like? What's it like to be on the side of the road? What's it like to have to wait for help? What does that experience give me? Ah, it will show you something that you need to see about yourself. Perhaps there were some feelings of fear coming up. Perhaps there was some appreciation of having a cell phone and having a service provider that was there for you, not only in the phone, but in the tow truck or the person who came to assist you. It gives you an opportunity. And you don't know what these opportunities are for. You don't know how valuable they are. They are all designed to give you an experience that you need on your ascension journey. So uh, being stuck on the side on the side of a highway for one person may bring up abject terror. Being on the side of a highway for another person may bring an opportunity for the consideration of what they're doing and why they're doing it. Each one of you are going to have a different experience. So once some things come into manifestation, we really want you to encourage, we really want to encourage you to accept that it's there. My partner wants a divorce. My pet just passed away. I've just won a lot of money. 
accept it and say, okay, what do I do now? How am I going to handle it now? Am I going to go into crazy money spending? Am I going to go into abject grief? What am I going to do with what is? Loving what is, is looking upon the world with forgiving eyes. Judgment is not always directed at people. It can be directed at people, places, experiences. It's raining. It shouldn't be raining. I don't want it to rain. You are going to lower your frequency by arguing with your experience of reality in that moment, and it's pointless. So what does a flat tire mean? It will mean different things to different people, a thousand different meanings to a thousand different people. We want you, as the question asker, to ask yourself, why did you interpret that way? Are you sending yourself a message that maybe you're confusing yourself? If you came up with that potential answer, we say that is probably the right answer for you, but it would be a different answer for someone else. It is not across the board. So all of you today, this is a wonderful practice. Look at what is. Look at your body. Look at the state of your body and ask yourself, is this okay for me? Am I doing all right with it? Look at the state of your finances. Is this okay for me? Am I doing all right with it? Or is this reflecting some frequency that I'm really not enjoying very much? Let me ask, is there anything else in my life, in my mind, that's of a like frequency? You can say, well, actually, I feel sick. My bank account's empty. I don't like where I work. I'm annoyed with my partner. Uh, my pet is badly behaved. Uh, on and on and on. You may go, well, there are 10 things that are all of that frequency. And what is the common denominator? You. You are the common denominator. The frequency is being generated from you. Don't attack those things, but list them and say, wow, 10 things of a low frequency. What is it that I am holding within me that is of that frequency? Let me just ask that question. Because these are all physical forms manifesting from my projector telling me something that I am unaware of. I'm unaware of this. Where in me am I holding this less than loving frequency? And we can tell you that if this planet and all the beings on it did this for one year, you would transform everything about this world. It would be chaotic for a little while indeed. But if everybody turned around and asked themselves, where am I holding this frequency? What am I doing? That's unloving, that's interrupting, that's depleted. What am, where am I doing this? And went inside and began to work on that in one year, you would be living in a very, very different place. And as an individual, you can choose to do that. You will be living in a very, very different place in one year. We guarantee it. We will return shortly. <laughs>